That's me in the heart of Casablanca, Morocco, and I've been stopped by an aggressive police officer who doesn't like that I'm entertaining the local street rats. Is that the real issue though? Or is it that the cop sees me as an easy target to haggle for money? Because what you might not realize, although Morocco is an Arabic speaking country, it's located in the lawless continent of Africa. A place where every country has rivable officials, and with a little bit of money, you're more free than you can ever imagine. But it's not because these people are bad people. Most of them are just trying to feed their family. The story begins 24 hours early. We are back. I couldn't stay away from Africa. Africa somehow just caught my heart and I keep finding myself back here. And today, we're in Morocco, Casablanca, Morocco, and the vibes are crazy. I actually love this continent. A lot of my videos when I did them in Africa, people told me, stop saying Africa, stop saying Africa and generalizing Africa. Why? Why are you guys mad when someone says Africa? Africa is big, you can't say Africa, specify where. You know, Africa has no water. Guys, these are jokes, these are assumptions the world makes about Africa, but here we are in Africa. And I love generalizing Africa because Africans are amazing people. I haven't met, I haven't met friendlier people than in Africa and that's why I love Africa so much. One, because I used to think it had no water and, and I used to think it was all Sahara. But look, we got people everywhere. People are active, people are working. And there is water. There is water in Africa, so... Habibi! Habibi Lal! They probably think the only word I know is Habibi, but I speak fluent Arabic. Look, they're all just beeping. Everyone's honking their horn. The traffic lights do not work, by the way. They do not work. I think. That's what it seems like from the way people are driving. Or they do work, and it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm already pulling. No biggie. Casual, just stand here and, and, and look hot. We're meeting up with a friend here too. My, uh, my web designer who built ArabUncut.com. My website where you can watch my footage that's raw and unfiltered for free. See, what you guys often see in these videos is 30 minutes. You see the story, but a lot of it requires three to four hours of footage. So, on my website, you can see the stuff that YouTube doesn't let me post. Especially when we make it to areas with, you know, drugs or guns, we make it deep. I can't post those on YouTube, so you can find them on my website for free. Here we're at the markets. In YouTube. What's up? In YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. YouTubers. YouTubers. Just look at that. Abdel Kabir? Habibi. So, for, for translation, yes, YouTube. For translation, that guy's name was Big Slave. Uh, this is not me, this is not me being racist. That guy's name was Big Slave in literal translation. Anwar, Anwar, what's, what's, what's Abdel Kabir translated to in English? Abdel Kabir? Yeah. It's, uh, uh, bigger. Uh, Kabir uh, means bigger. Yeah, and what's Abd mean? Ab is uh, Abd uh, slave. Yeah. <laughs> bigger slave. Every, every single thing you can think of is being sold here in these markets. You got corn on the cob, cake, gato, shuhai dam baby. It's a fruit juice. Oh, yeah, That's juice. a fruit juice? Yeah, exactly. That's good juice. What's in there? It looks dangerous. Let's go. Okay, we're in the we're in between the alleys here between the market. Is there more market on the other side? Nope. Really? Yeah. So we're just walking through a random alley right now. I do like to explore and I challenge you guys watching to explore, especially in these Arab countries. I don't know what you've heard of them. Or, or whatever, but you know, Lebanon, my country specifically, has gone through some of the worst explosions, economic crisis in history, and they'll tell you, watch out, it's dangerous there, but I feel way safer there. Oh my gosh, look at that cat. 
Look how tiny that is. Come here. Drink. You don't want juice? Yeah. Even the cats hate the juice. Um, in these countries, they tell you, you know, be careful, it's dangerous, it's dangerous, but these I always feel the least danger in. The Arab countries, I always feel the least danger. It never feels like someone's about to walk up to me and stab me or shoot me or rob me. Just like everyone's having good conversation, helping out their local people that are around them and making a living. Look at these kids. Got the good ball. Yeah. No Foreigners in town, get the good ball. No fucking shit. Fuck you, motherfucker. No fuck you, motherfucker. No fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> What's up with the kids in all these places? They just know the cuss words. Fuck Ali. you, fuck you, motherfucker. Fuck you. Fuck you. Are beautiful. Are beautiful. That's a good one. Why the shoe? Fuck you, motherfucker. Not if this. This guy, the only thing this guy knows is you better suck my dick, you pussy. <laughs> oh, bye! <laughs> Back into the market. Can I wash my hands? Thank you. How are you? I'm trying to find a trash can so I can throw this out. I don't litter. That's a rule. He's selling water? Cold water? Or holy water? No, cold. He's literally just selling like drinkable water. Yeah. And a little, just a bowl of water. How much? I want you that. That guy is selling water for 10 cents. That's his. That's what he's doing for a job? Yeah. Really? Yeah, there's so many... He dresses up in all that to just yeah, sell especially water? especially in Marrakesh. That's Marrakesh uh, clothes. Really? Yeah, exactly. For 10 cents? Yeah, 10 cents. The markets were pretty tame That's so crazy. far, but I'm glad I went through that alley because this is where the real action begins. Yeah. So your wheelchair yeah. runs off of a... of a... Power really bank. of a power bank. I... Uh, I pass the... the, the current... the current to the... Speaker? Speaker, speaker. Yeah. speaker yeah. Over key. And these batteries and for what? Battery for uh, computer. The, the tablet, multimedia. Yeah. And what? Oh, multimedia. Oh, so you watch YouTube. Uh, tablet, uh, speaker. Aywa. Walla, how we enter? Are you recording? Yes, yes. No, no, YouTube. No. YouTube. YouTube. Oh, wow. Multimedia, you watch yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I show I, you. I have the let me, uh, Sometimes if you pass uh, from here, yeah. you sit for a cup of coffee, okay? Okay, you're always here? Always here. Habibi. Oh, okay. hey. A selfie, I know here. Sure? Selfie? Yeah, I know here. Selfie, I know here. <laughs> Taking selfies with the Moroccan locals. Morocco, Morocco. No, 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 Logo mean. We dead. We dead. We dead. Casablanca. We dead. Casablanca. Okay. Okay. Sure. I have no. They're all just. They're all just grabbing me right now. <laughs> they're, they're all just grabbing me. The locals were friendly and loving the camera, but it was the night of their biggest rivalry soccer match, so there was some friendly tension in the air. <laughs> I'm being dragged right now. 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 I'm being dragged
تجي حملونا شرفنا شو اسمك انت يونس يونس ايدي شرفنا شرفنا اوكي وي كيت انا اسوي انا اسوي الحس مشات وش قلويتات ليريكا شو ليريكا It's like crack. Yes, yes, it's crack. Really? Crack, yeah. He actually takes it. Yeah, I know. Ah, okay. The bombo so much. The bombo so much. Suck it, Dan. It's in the close your ears. Okay, Femna, Femna. Enough, yes, yes, we're good. I don't want to buy this. Yep. How many push up can you do? More than him. My brother. My brother. Okay, come, come, come. I ended up losing the push up contest. I did 60, but that nigga was made of steel. And there was too much commotion in the area, so I said my goodbyes and. Oh, never mind. The crackhead is back. Okay, so what I've understood from there is there's two teams. There's Reja and there's We Dad. The crackhead was supporting We Dad and he was the only one. And everyone else was for Reja. Dude, that dude would not leave us alone. <laughs> Look, broken down buildings. What is this? Why is this all broken down like this? Can we ask them? Uh, Reja, We Dad! See, you could just you could just summon people. I just summoned him by saying his by saying his team name. So water, water, that's too much. Oh, water, flood. Yeah, flood, water. 1996. Okay, thank you. What's what's in here? So they make sweets here, and uh, these these are these are they smell really good. These are for tomorrow. Oh, for today. Yeah. These are the leftovers? No, nope, no. Nope. It's just made there. Oh, they will sell these today? Yeah. Oh, where do you sell them? Down in shops there. They sell them to other shops? Yeah. Oh, okay. And these all will sell today? Uh, yeah. Oh, awesome. wow. Bravo, Alec. So, yeah, uh, Bravo. So, I actually kind of wanted to film in there to show you guys how many wasps there were on the dessert. That's something that wouldn't slide somewhere in, like, these first world countries where... Oh, it's like a shack. Someone... Oh, there's a cat on top of the shack. Just chilling. Oh, look, the kids are playing with a cat as well. There's a lot of stray cats here. Like I said, it's something that wouldn't slide in the first world countries. Having that many wasps, etc., would be a food violation. But in these countries, like, they're used to it. There's not really bacteria that gets you sick. Uh, their immune systems are used to it. Whatever it is, like, that's how they cook in these places. Ooh. Stealing the soccer ball from these kids. <laughs> you know, maybe a lot of these kids' only hope is having a soccer ball, making it out, becoming a pro player. That's what a lot of football is in these places. And for perspective, if you're watching at home, I don't feel a bit of danger here. Maybe like 1-2%, just because I'm holding a camera adds a bit of intensity, you know, eyes on you. But I don't feel a bit of danger from the people at all. Let's go back to the road, maybe. We then headed back to the main strip to take advantage of more locals for content. I'm just kidding, but not really. <laughs> That's a taxi, by the way. To be honest, in these places, anybody's a taxi. You can pay like a, a random truck driver to take you somewhere, $2. Oh, Batija. Okay, can we? Yeah, sure. Let's buy one. I'll give it to someone. A whole one. Yeah, yeah. But I, I want to see him. I want to see him cut it open. I want to. So it's the thing they do in these countries. They pull it out, and just for you to make sure it's good quality watermelon, they uh, they cut it for you, and they let you see if it's. Uh, they let you see if it's a good quality watermelon. So I'm literally only buying this for you guys to see it. I've already seen this before in Lebanon. They just shove it in, they cut a little triangle out. Oh, 
Ana, ها 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 it's a really good watermelon too, better than anything you would taste out of these places where they put pesticides and shit in your, in your watermelon. Guys, it's a regular thing by the way, and you know, we, we try to compare because a lot of my viewers are from the US and you guys haven't seen these things, but in these countries, they don't put pesticides, they don't put like growth hormones in the food, the watermelons taste better, all the fruits taste better. I naturally lose 10 to 15 pounds when I leave the US for, for two to three months. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is 10? This point? Cool. Thank you. Shusmak. Hassan. Hassan. Shut up. Now, Eddie. Enchanté. Enchanté. I mean, what a guy. I specifically can't wait till we go to Pakistan. Because, like, look how packed these streets are and how good content they are with these markets. I can't imagine Pakistan when we're in, like, some of the dirtiest, like, there's, I know there's, a, there's this one city in Pakistan, the dirtiest city in, like, the fucking world when it comes to air quality. That's gonna be a fun video. Ooh, what's this? Soup? Yep, soup. Yeah, that's, soup. Yeah, that's more. Soup. This is a restaurant, basically. Yeah. It's, what is it? Yeah, it's oh. Moroccan soup. What's in it? It's called Hrira. Hrira. Yeah. Can we can we pay to just try a little uh, bit? Five, five for. Uh, okay, four. cool. I'll pay five. Can you can you tell her to not put too much? Just like one or two bites. So there's a, literally a restaurant in the middle of. It's just a bench. At this point, I felt like I was in the movie Aladdin. There's just a restaurant with soup bowls and wooden benches in the middle of the street. So this is what we're eating here. Oh, that's good. It's like chicken noodle soup. Yeah, exactly. Without chicken. Are they gambling? No, no. It's a smell thing. Smell thing. Yeah. I think he just gave me a line of c***. Mmm. Smells good. Yeah, it's a Saudi. <laughs> Hi. What the? That dude's like... <laughs> Dude, that dude's possessed. That dude's possessed. I didn't want to look at him because I thought he was like, you know, I didn't mental issues. But then I think he actually might be possessed. His head was like 180 degrees, turning with me. And then he started smiling, he started laughing at me, so I laughed back, and he just kept walking. Morocco! You've done me well so far. If you guys have made it this far in the video, at least like and subscribe. That's the, that's the least I can ask of you. 20, 30 minutes of entertainment, and you still haven't liked and subscribed? Come on, have some respect. Yeah, like the sneakers come in, yeah, come in they get donated or they get bought in, no, in large? They found it in the trash. In the they find it in the trash? Yeah, exactly. No. no. They donate it. Right? No, no. Those sneakers that they're selling were found in the trash. Yeah, in your... People go and buy them from the trash or find them in the trash and sell them here? Exactly, yeah. We're posted up now in a little side shop, eating some bread and drinking Moroccan tea. These are, these are vibes to me. Bread and Nutella, side of the road. This is what these countries are to me. Interactions with humans, the culture, some good banter, football. So you guys see our setting here. We're chilling in the, uh, the middle of the road. Just slamming some tea. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Lovely. What's this? Uh, a shower. Yeah, exactly. This is a public shower. How much do you pay for a public shower? Okay. One dollar and twenty cents. You can take a public. From what I understood, the public shower gets its heat by them burning wood underground in a furnace. I tried to film inside, but they wouldn't let me, no matter how much money I offered. We then, as always on this channel, accidentally ended up at the local gaming cafe. Oh, it's a standard. We gotta play billiards against one of these people. Ask them if anyone wants to play for 10 durhams. Only one person was willing to wager me, and that's where I made a mistake. 
He shit on me in foosball, then I challenged him to billiards. This guy, this guy's the hustler, he's the shark here. He's got his own bag and he just, he just has money in there, change. He absolutely rocked my shit. The guy turned out to be the owner of the cafe and knew the table so well, I stood no chance. I just got absolutely dogged. He just, he just pulled what I pulled in Brazil. That's what he just did. He just scored five in a row, absolutely shit on me, came out of nowhere. We then wrapped up the day and headed to dinner off camera with Sneeko, where he watched me bang his girlfriend for dessert. I get told a lot of the time on this channel, Hey Arab, how come you always show the shit sides of these countries, blah, blah, blah. You know, you always go to the slums and, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Well, today I'm showing you guys for the first time on this channel the nice side of a country. You see, we're in Morocco. I'm with Sneeko. And I'm with a few boys that, well, they're fans, but now they're homies. They picked us up in their, <clears throat> hold up, let me show you the vehicle. In their Bentley. And they're taking us to the nice side of Morocco today. We're expecting a VIP experience, seeing the local farms, how people live, etc. Uh, we met them yesterday. They saw my Instagram story, actually. Sneeko got mad at me because I leaked our location. And we got stream sniped off my Instagram story. I didn't even post the location. They just knew the background, met up with us. One of them knew Sneeko, one of them knew me. And it just worked out so well. So we're getting a VIP experience today. And, uh... We'll show you guys the nice side of Morocco. So rizzing up chicks in Morocco is not a thing because they're super conservative and you have to like be respectful and if you want to riz up a chick here, it will... They're all underground prostitutes basically. They won't say it, but when you go to these nice clubs, that's how it is in these areas. But apparently here, here we can riz. Not gonna be able to reserve any girls, man. It's not gonna work. Try right now. Cold approach. You used to watch me in Fortnite. Yeah. That's crazy. It's crazy how far Fortnite has uh, taken our connections worldwide. Plenty of you guys don't know on this channel that I used to be a Fortnite professional player. I was the number one coach in the world until I quit to travel the world. So these connections, they often go. Uh, they take me pretty far because in random countries, I'll get noticed by people who you know, are, are rich or something and can show us a sick experience because of Fortnite from back in the day. I usually post on my Instagram when I'm going to a new country. If you've got a sick slum or rich experience, just slide in on my Instagram when I post your country. We then had some delicious breakfast with nice Arab music. What are you munching on right now? I don't know. Like a Moroccan pancake with eggs? It's not pork. It's not pork. I'm all bacon. That's all that matters. Yeah. It's not pork. Is it good? You fucking with Middle Eastern food? 10 out of 10. We're converting him, slowly. All right, now get on your knees and start praying. All right, so we've just finished eating, and now we're at the mosque. This is, you said this is the biggest mosque in Africa? Third, no, the biggest mosque in Africa, third biggest mosque in the world. Like the, oh, this the is third, the third biggest mosque in, in the just, the, just the height thing. Yeah, the height thing, yeah, exactly. I'm not Muslim, but we're here for Sneeko. Sneeko. Yeah, Arab's not allowed here, he's got his shorts on, and he believes a man can be God, so. You can wait outside, wait in the back or something. Sneeko's still trying to pray every single day to try to figure out how he can get his girl to be persuaded to have four wives. So he's asking God for advice on, you know, how to convert her to that. He goes and he gets on his knees every single day. And yeah, you just uh, stand five and, times a day. You just stand and like kind of pray on your knees and then eat crackers and stuff. And I'm eating the body of a man. What? And then drink his blood. Satanic rituals in the church. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> At least I get on my knees and pray to God. You're like, oh, kind of stand, kneel, cracker, body, cannibal. What? I mean, we get on our knees too, but it's for the priest usually. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so they're going into the mosque. You know, I'm just admiring the architecture from the outside. We're on the water right now. <sighs> Beautiful weather. That's a good photo, Sneeko. Now post it on Twitter for Alhamdulillah. <laughs> You'll get a bunch of likes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what he's gonna do, he's gonna put some filter on it, he's gonna he's gonna put Alhamdulillah my Muslim brothers. <laughs> we can't just see the outside? For like two minutes we can't see the outside? 
We tried to enter the mosque and they won't let us. Apparently it's closed. Nico, all I'm saying is my people wouldn't close the church. I got a bit bored, so I wandered away from the group looking for trouble. So here next to the mosque, the kids hop over the, the fence and they go to the beach here. It's like a free beach. But apparently this beach is the same beach that they throw all the waste into Casablanca. So the kids are all swimming in super dirty water. And the kids are getting in a fight. <laughs> this kid just flipped me off in front of a mosque. What's up, bro? What's your name? Shrismak. Ahmed. 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 The officer was grabbing me by the arm, telling me, come with me, but I wouldn't budge. I said no, called up Sneeko, and I told him to bring our Moroccan friends to help us. Let's just say, there's nothing that 20 bucks can't solve in these countries. <laughs> okay, so, we basically almost just got arrested, I guess. That guy, that guy came up to me. <laughs> I had to call Sneeko. Arab, hold on, hold on. Arab always wants to go. Let's go to the slums do dangerous things. We were waiting in the car, and in five seconds, he just found a bunch of street rat kids, got arrested, he's getting detained, they want to take his camera. Can you, like, chill? For you got me arrested, bro. <laughs> What'd you do? You no, 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 I didn't trespass. Yeah. These kids are there swimming. So yeah. I go and hang out with them. I'm talking. I'm having fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're laughing. And I'm the cop comes up and grabs I'm my hand. Damn. And he goes, turn the camera off. Hey, why are you filming a bunch of little shirtless kids? <laughs> you see how it looks like, <laughs> hey, you're kids. <laughs> I, I told you I'm a Catholic. <laughs> After some close encounters with the Moroccan feds, we are now at a sports center. We've come to the boys' local sports center that they own, and uh, we're gonna play some paddle. It's like a halal tennis. tennis. Yeah, it's halal tennis. It's like a less gay tennis. I should probably it's not say like gay. But no. no, no, they, it's okay when you your homo homophobia is accepted in the Middle East. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's a less gay tennis. We don't like the. Uh, it is June. Shit. Um. <laughs> Pride Month. Whoa. Is that gay to say? Pride Month? Yeah, what's the gay part about that? That you're fucking Pride Month? I didn't say, I said Pride Month. I went the wrong way. It's not gay if you're on top. So we're about to play some less gay tennis here. Alright, so we're going me and Sneeko versus, versus Fahed and Ryan. And I think I think after a few hits, once we learn the, the game and shit, you guys are fucked. Yes. Yeah. Okay. No, Haram. We then played like paddle LeBron. for like an hour. The boy showed us a good time, and I gotta say, I love you, Morocco. Dima Magri. Woo! Champions! I love you, boy! Champions! And that's what happens when the Muslims and the Christians come together.